Thank you for calling Low Value Mail. Who am I speaking? What's up, Danny? Speak of the devil and he shall appear. It's the goop here. Hey, what's up, buddy? I'm glad you got through. Yeah, you were, we were messaging earlier and you said you, you were designed for this show. Yeah, this dude. Ho- conspiracy theories are my hobby. I love them, man. Okay. I don't actually believe any of them except for the ones about your people. Obviously, those are all true. Uh, <laughs> Save it for the stage, pal. <laughs> Save it for the stage. Um, but... Yeah. Okay. So, so cool. Cause here's the thing uh, I've, I've spoken about it before, but forever, like conspiracy theories were just a fun thing, right? They were just like a fun thing. You go, this is like, you just, it's like, you're talking shit. And all, yeah. You know? Then and they then got then a little it, serious. It became so serious. Oh, and we hit a hundred likes. So I'm going to give away, uh, you talk about, tell me about what are your, what's your top conspiracy theory right now? I will, I will say the Siraj one, Based on the actual plausibility of what he said, is probably tough to beat. But um, I'm going to give away a channel membership, and you tell us about uh, uh, w- what you're fucking with right now, conspiracy wise. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm really into like ancient history and and basically how all of our history is a complete and total lie. Ooh. Um, all yeah, of Western civilization or just in general? no like all history pretty much like there is truth to the mainstream narrative but it's only enough truth to hide the actual truth you know what i'm saying okay um but uh but yeah so like elaborate yeah so so i was watching this video right of uh this archaeologist debunking the missing 1000 years theory which i think was mentioned on your show previously it's that the dark ages never happened. We just made up a thousand years of history and I added it to the calendar. I don't remember that. Uh, maybe Andreas, who I think will be joined with us by at some point, who's like the conspiracy theorist extraordinaire. But um, yeah. but the 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 po- so so it's the the theory isn't actually important. It's it's basically though that. Um, the dark ages never happened. We just went straight from what, a, what was it like the bronze age to the enlightenment okay. and everything in between was just made up. Like, and, and that's what, like 500 to 1500. Yeah, roughly. Yeah. Okay. Roughly. Um, and so anyways, this lady was debunking it. Uh-oh. She made to debunk uh-huh. it. Yeah. Okay. Go on, is go on. that, is that, uh, you know, if you work in archeology span and you approach any other archeologist with this theory, you'll immediately be blacklisted. No archaeologist will work with you. Your career will be over. And she said that it's like it was proof that the theory was bullshit, but all it really proves is the corruption in archaeology. Like there's certain questions that are asked. And uh, a lot of people have issues with conspiracy theories. Like one of the biggest complaints for Flat Earth is that um, it's too big of a conspiracy theory. It can't be true because it requires too many people to be involved. And what do you say about that? Conspiracy theories are self-operating machines, and I'll explain exactly how it works. Mm, so they guess. don't require anybody to be involved once they're set up. They maintain themselves. So like, there's this uh, study where if you put 10 monkeys in a room and there's a rope in the middle of the room, a monkey will climb the rope and you blast it off with a fire hose. Another monkey climbs the rope and you blast it off with a fire hose. Eventually, the monkeys won't climb the rope the rope anymore. You replace one monkey at a time. The new monkey comes in. He tries to climb the rope, but the other monkeys pull him off the rope so he doesn't get blasted. Eventually, you've replaced all 10 monkeys. None of the monkeys have actually seen the fire hose, but they don't allow each other to climb the rope. They and that's exactly... A, a hit. They're able to... Like- transmit a hit like a right they don't they don't know why yeah they don't know why they're doing what they're doing they just know that's what you do and they continue doing it and that's the same way conspiracy theories work so like just like the lady said in the video if you even bring this idea up to other archaeologists your career is over so so no one no one goes near it and it doesn't require some you know big scary guy in the shadows like controlling all of the archaeologists the archaeologists control themselves gotcha. because once the narrative is established everyone just goes along with the narrative okay so uh, i i understand what you're saying so then what happens when they say we've uncovered something from this period it just i'll tell you exactly what happens tell you exactly what happens so there is only one thing that actually needs to be controlled to control everything else and that is the media and the cia openly admits that they control the media so if anyone does start to go off the narrative they're like oh yeah we made this discovery 
all the media has to do is discredit them, go look at this fucking idiot. Maybe we found some child porn on his computer, you know, whatever they need to do. do. And all of the other archaeologists get the message real quick and they go, oh, well, we don't we don't talk about that theory anymore. And this isn't just archaeology. This is every single branch of science. Like, dude, if you go deep enough down the butterfly rabbit hole, you'll eventually find a question about butterflies that you're not allowed to ask. Like, absolutely everything has been corrupted. And now, but so the CIA, that's an American thing, right? Right. Like, are you saying like in Europe, like their equivalent of the CIA? Dude, you are, you are just asking the perfect questions. So here's how, here's, (laughs) here's how it all ties together on a global scale, because yeah, you have all of these different countries and religions and different power organizations that are seemingly working towards the same goals, but shouldn't have any reason to do so. Right. To work together. What one world government? Uh, well, so 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 there's two parts to this because there are definitely giant shadowy cabals like the World Economic Forum, but I'm still on the line of like conspiracies happen organically, right? So like how the the monkeys in the room they they run themselves. So on a global level, it works similarly where um, all of these things, governments and religion, are the two things that have largely controlled people throughout time, and the way they do that is by making people reliant on them the more someone needs you to survive the more you can do whatever the fuck you want right like if i need you to live you can you can do whatever you want to me i need you i I have to have you to live so the way you make people reliant is make them stupid and weak and so all of these religions and governments they're all acting pretty much in unison but without even needing to cooperate so like Muslims, Jews, Christians, they've all destroyed, uh, you know, beautiful architecture throughout history and statues and all of this stuff. Um, Because when you're surrounded by beauty, when you're surrounded by like, if you look up any cities from the 1800s, 1900s, or even Roman times, there are all these magnificent giant stone structures that are just lavishly covered, you know, in intricately carved marble and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, you had Leonardo da Vinci, who was a master artist and like, when you have all of that magnificence around you, surrounding you all the time, you can't help but know what you're capable of because you see greatness around you and you realize that you're capable of greatness too. And so the best way to subjugate a people and keep them weak is destroy all of the beauty, destroy all of the wonder. When people are surrounded by you know these giant gray skyscrapers and ugly modern art, they don't even realize that they're capable of, of greatness, so they never even try to achieve greatness. And people who are not trying to achieve greatness aren't overthrowing governments. You know, they're they're happy little slaves. And uh, if you want, now I can get into how uh, tech is is furthering all sure, of this. Sure. Yeah. I, I mean, it's interesting. And so, are you a, a a flat earther or like a bowl earther? What is the one? What was it? I I don't know what you're asking. Or what? A what? Or like what's the? I guess it's not flat. It's, well, there's flat earth. Oh, flat it? earther! No, 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 no. I I'm not a flat earther, but I genuinely believe that they are more in tune with the truth than the people who disregard them because they're like this is so impossible there's there would have to be too many people involved because like no the level of deception that's been pulled upon the global population is equivalent to if the earth was flat it might as well be because i've heard uh, i had a friend of mine once we were like hanging out and he just basically he essentially came out to me as a flat earther like he was like, it was like, a, honestly, oh, hell yeah, dude. It, but it was the same conversation as if someone would be like, Hey, just, so you know, like I'm gay. Like it was honestly felt identical. And is then, he a really interesting person? Oh, he's a pretty interesting guy. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, yeah, they is, are. They can never, because exp- you say that they don't have to be in on the conspiracy, but I'm like, they kind of do in the sense that people have to be in on, you know, if you fly from Los Angeles to Sydney, Australia, which people do all the time. Like you do have to be in on that one because I you're disagree. At the end. Okay, so so let's hear it. Why do you disagree? So so right. So like, are you saying like why they don't fly over the North Pole because that's shorter or whatever? Oh, whatever. Yeah, like the round. Or like, I guess if so, you're saying that there's an edge, then like because if you you have that map on your uh, you know, you have that display where you can see the plane going right. Right. So I'm I'm not actually a flat earther. I just want to clear that yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. But but um. You know, in this hypothetical question, 
uh, yeah, like all of the pilots, their entire schooling is going is is teaching them this is how the, it's it's kind of like you were pretty based on dentists, so I think you'll you'll appreciate yeah. this analogy. Um, every single dentist is is brainwashed that like fluoride is good, right? Mm. And you're not it just like the archaeologists, you're not able to question that without getting your entire career ruined. Right. And so if you're like a pilot and you're like, yeah, I bet we could take this route though. Cause the earth is flat. like your career's over, you know? So, so it's by design. Like, yeah, you have to fit in that, that well, mold. I am saying with if the, you step outside, with the Australia it, thing, sorry, but like, because they do, they have a map. Right. And so like, uh, as far as I remember with the flat earth map, it's like North America is like on the left top and australia yeah bottom, flat earth bottom, doesn't actually make bottom sense bottom right <laughs> that was the main one i got that one just even if yeah it, like, it doesn't like, actually make sense yeah, yeah um okay goob we're gonna wrap this up because i want to get some other callers but we're gonna talk on the patreon we're gonna go over some stand-up and you can tell us more about because it sounds like you got a bunch of these real the real quick yes just about the stand-up um when i sent you that email i was so proud and over the past several days, that has just turned to pure shame, and we'll get into that in the Patreon. <laughs> Dude, you know how to do a teaser, man. Uh, well, you heard it here first. From pride to shame, the goop. Thanks for calling in, buddy. Yeah, thanks. Bye.